Welcome to another episode of Tea Time where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ife Omai. Hi, what's up? Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How's it going? Mm, going Hi. well. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So, Sam Smith um, is set to release a brand new single titled My Oasis featuring Bonner Boy today, July 30. I definitely cannot wait for that to drop. Mm. The new single serves as a prelude to Smith's third album, To Die For, scheduled to drop before the end of 2020. The release of Oasis will be his first new song since the release of Demi Lovato's duet, I Am Ready, in April. Mm. And I can't wait, like I said. Oh my goodness. Another boy, boy another get brag. Huh. Ah. Get it. Hey. Get it. Let's add to his braggist. Honestly. It's okay. I, I think the song is going to be good. like a freaking banger. There's mm -hmm. two awesome people. I like the fan collusion that will be happening. They like some Smith's crowd meets Burner Boys crowd. Like, and I like the way the story is being reported. Grammy award winner featuring Grammy award nominee. Mm -hmm. hey, okay. okay. That's nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great, great collaboration. Obviously, yeah. um, if you know Sam Smith's music, you know it's one of those music that has a um, meaning. It's actually very meaningful. Is it? If he's speaking about love, there's a story behind it. There's mm. a message to share and all that. And Bonobo is also a lyricist. He has that right to. You could call him a lyricist because every song has a story. Every mm. song has a vibe. Every song got. So bringing that vibe and the storyline with Sam Smith, I think, is going to be a great collaboration. Mm. Mm. I definitely can't. Sweet. Me neither. Mm. Okay, moving on to another good news. Rick Hassani is the creator of original music for David Oyelowo and Oprah Winfrey's film. The Oprah Winfrey produced movie is currently in post production titled Waterman. Um, it is about a boy who sets out on a quest to save his ill mother by searching for a mythic figure um, said to have magical healing powers. Mm. I'm super excited for Rick Hassani. Me too. I don't know if I'm very excited about the movie, but I'm mm. happy. Maybe I'll have to watch it because of Rick Hassani and um, to see what he, he would do with that one. But yeah, kudos to David for um, this step. I'm, 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 it might not be excited. It's not because I'm not a fan of David or that I'm not a fan of Oprah. It's because the storyline is not blowing my mind, you mm. know. So uh, maybe the delivery would be different, you know. But I, I'd like to see how this turns out. But shout out to Rick Hassan. That's on the this exact one. same um, thought I have about it. But my reason for not really being excited about the movie is I've not really been excited about Oprah's movies, to be okay. honest. Mm -hmm. They haven't, they're not for me. They're not, I'm not saying, <laughs> they're just not for me. They're a bit too whimsy. There's one with with the where all the kids have special powers and they were in some musical world. I've forgotten the name of the movie now. Mm. Mm, yeah, nah. Um, but I'm hoping that this would do well. The storyline doesn't give me hope either, to yeah. be very honest. But like you said, maybe there is a chance for delivery. Either way, Frank Hassani, I mean, Rick, Rick. Hassani, I'm so happy. So, so happy for for um, him. I think we are talking one time about stories where like, you might not blow, but then somebody is watching mm -hmm. your progress and then you win in your own right, even mm -hmm. if it's not fame. I think he's one of those people that mm. he's not the loudest person. Like if I'm talking about the big guns or whatever, but he's still, I feel like because he's, he's still consistent in being um, genuine to his niche mm -hmm. and his sound, he hasn't really compromised trying to do what everybody, like do, do, do the sellable trick. He hasn't ever really done that and he's still trying to put his efforts out there and give us good music. I, obviously, it's nice to then see that that has now been looked at and is being rewarded, yeah. I also share that train of thought that um, the fact that it's not on your play, it's not a genre on your playlist doesn't mean it's not doing well. Mm. You understand? So there are a lot of people that we necessarily do not have to listen to, but we know their names here and there. And we're wondering mm. where are these guys? What are they doing? What are mm. they up to? But there are people that the same way that we listen to our faves, right? And we're checking up on what they're doing on a daily. That's the same way somebody's checking on Rika Sani. What's mm. he doing? What type of music has he dropped? Because he has his fan base. Yeah, he has mm. his fan base as well so that's one thing i want a lot of people to just always remember that look the fact that it's not your genre doesn't mean that this person is not doing well so when i saw this i was like yeah great stuff yeah. and knowing that rika sani is also on the mavens am i correct on that or oh, he has affiliations with, okay no that's um johnny drill because yeah, they have the same of the family, yeah, yeah because yeah. they have the same type of music and he's done a lot of features with johnny drill as well that's why i mixed that up but um 
just to let you know that people like that also have great music. I've listened to a few Rika Sanis, and it's one of those guys that you just know that they know their stuff. Definitely. He's not like he's some guy that just came into the R&B scene or soul mm -hmm. or, or he just wants to do it because he wants... No, he actually knows his stuff. This is his stuff. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, way to go. Big stuff for you, bro. Mm -hmm. All right. To touch on that as well, I mean, I've said it before on this table, and maybe it's important to repeat it again, that when it comes to music business, it is way broad, and it's not just about the faves that would like to say they are number one to ten. There are so many people you don't even know exist that are, that are making money. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, events are closed down right now, but there are bands that are making, like, cashing out real good every weekend in Lagos State and that goes for across the world as well. So music business is broad. It's not mm. just about social media and the noise and who you think you listen to. As mm. long as you can grow your fan base and even gets better now now that the, the world is now just a global Digital. village, you know. So you can reach fans from everywhere and it will be counted. Nobody's coming to ask you, are these fans from Nigeria or mm. from this? You just have a figure that is um, churning out incomes for you. So whatever you're doing, stay focused focus um, on your grind and um, understand why you're doing what you're doing. Agreed. All right, moving on to another good news. I think this morning is about good news. Rema named one of the 27 musicians to make 2020 better by GQ. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. You think <laughs> you made 2020 better? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's such a weird list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I find it a bit odd, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt when I was reading like, oh, okay. To make 2020 better. Okay. okay. Um, I think okay. um, that's just the phrase to just let you know that 2020 hasn't been the year for most people, mm. for a lot of us, but there are things that actually kept us going in 2020. Great movies, great music, great people, great family mm. members. When you put it that way, I see Yeah, so when you start seeing people that actually made an impact in your life in 2020 when everyone has shut down 2020. So Some people already in it's 20, music, it's, it's, I guess. it's been giving us bangers. In 2020 alone, I'm sure Rema has released nothing less than three songs that has made us feel good. I don't know about, okay, don't let me say us, that has made me feel good. Okay. You know, he's giving me Ginger Me, he's giving me Woman, he's giving me Alien, he's giving me I can't remember the one before all those. Shit. Yeah, I remember so, fans. Yeah, so he's giving me that. He's done the um, date tour, which um, he, that was something mm. different that no one has done. Mm. He, 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 he picked that they said was a regular staged, fan. But yeah. and, whatever it was, whether staged or not, he was <laughs> no, good. I'm just he, telling you what they said. Yeah, <laughs> he, he was inventive. Do you understand? It was different. It was unique. You mm. know, like a, a celebrity going out with a regular fan and, you know, showing us all of that. So it's when he well, has... was not regular. Mm, yeah, she was not regular because she's the fact that she's a social media influencer doesn't mean she's not no, regular. No, I mean, like, she's even, like, had a date with him before. Whatever it was, it was entertaining to me. It made 2020 okay, Rema better made for me. Okay, Rema made Ife Oshunke yes, 2020. And a lot of other people, I believe. Last on period. Uh, so, period. 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 So, congratulations to Rema. We see your wins from being endorsed by um, Obama. Obama to every other list he's been on. So, congratulations for someone who is just getting into the industry mm. and at the age of 20. So, I just hope that he stays gro grounded and mm. focus on his focus. Focus on your focus. Yeah. You heard? <laughs> Still time continues to rise up after this very short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> Most times I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now. Wow. And that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Samini calls out Shatawale for a one-to-one -one rap battle and Shatawale is yet to respond but um, Samini is saying they should do this for old times mm. you know bring back the vibe I think he's insinuating from his hashtags I think he's saying Tuesday 
Mm. Um, he's ready for Tuesday, Tuesday, so I'm waiting to. I'm ready for Tuesday as well. <laughs> <laughs> I am. You want to see this? I want right? to see it. Okay. I, and I, I think what I liked is that he brought in like a vibe to it. Like he wasn't like, "Come out, I can finish you." It was more like, mm -hmm. "Let's let's do this again." And Which is what it's supposed to have been. Yeah. I've been saying. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I I feel like we need that type of vibe, especially with Shatawali. Like I want to see him. Not just like in music videos and in the news. Like I want to see him a bit raw, if that makes sense. Like mm -hmm. just chilled, laid back, doing his thing, whatever, live or whatever. I don't know how, how the setting would be. I would like to see him like that, like just a regular person on that type of large um, scale. So I'm excited for this, and I'm hoping that he that says he accepts yes. It, right? that he says I think yes. he will. Me too. I don't know. I mean, he's full of surprises, but I'm hoping. I'm I think he will, he will too. But yeah. Mm. Samini so, is um, popular for being one of the um, biggest reggae artists that ever came out of Ghana. Um, he started the whole dancehall movement, or one of the, let, them, let me say, he started, he was one of the pioneers of the dancehall movement in, in Ghana. And he's actually big, he's Stoneboy's godfather. You remember when Stoneboy had that thing mm -hmm. with Kevin in. Boy and yeah. he had to step in and speak and all of that. And then considering Stoneboy's um, strange relationship with um, Shatawali, and mm -hmm. this is his godfather calling out Shatawali, and like the vibe you said it's not bringing it like uh, because mm. it is we're yeah. beef we're beef we're mm. doing this let's just do this this is dance all music mm. and dance the culture and if we really culture. want to look at what cont i mean what part of africa is making ways in the dance all music in africa we can't take it away from ghana because mm. i can count how many dance all artists we have from True. nigeria maybe mm. part of ranking mm. Which is like one leg in, one leg out. You get me. Mm. Uh, we maybe Timaya, which is like yeah, half one leg in, in one, one leg and half leg, leg out. out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so There's but in Ghana, nobody else. Oh. Wow. Yeah, but maybe in, they are upcoming. Don't, don't okay. Daddy Shokinko. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's that's um, Galala. Mm. It's still dance all though, if we really want to be on mm. it. But Somebody at the end of the day, my name. Hey. people they call him my name. Mm -mm. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. so back to the story, right? Samini, as um, we have Samini, we have um, Reggie Rockstone, we have Stone Boy, we have Shatawali, we have. They even uh, have female dancer yeah. actually. Yeah. Her name um, we had a conversation regarding her. Ebony, the late Ebony was yeah. also one of them. Mm. Uh, Wendy Shea. Yeah. Wendy Shea yeah. and the like. So, you know, Ghana is actually putting the old dance hall thing on the map when it comes to dance hall. So, you know, it would be great for us to see somebody, one of the pioneers of dance hall music mm, and the that. recent self acclaimed dance hall king, Shatawali, mm. you know, go head to head because they both have great music. There's no two ways about it. Samini is big. He's big. Shatawali is also yeah. very mm. big as well. So, Good you know, catch. with that fan <laughs> <laughs> So, with that fan base, um, I just like to see what the people are saying, and yeah. I just hope this won't be about pitching them against each other. This is just yeah. about good vibes. Let's, let's just have fun. Let's just let's just have fun. Let's just Tuesday to we're down for Tuesday. Like, yeah. Okay, so, okay, so, so Tuesday just we'll in there. case Shatawale was thinking of not accepting, please also send this video as if he doesn't watch it yeah. too. Just listen to mm. Effect yeah. Talk, yeah. and I'm sure he would accept. So we're yeah. looking forward to that one, right? Yeah. Okay, moving on. Ashley Jude's um, sexual harassment lawsuit against Harvey Weinstein gets revived by appeal courts. Hmm. Uh, I don't think we are going to see the end of this man being here for his <laughs> sins, but that's cool. Um, so um, they never worked together or basically under his direct employ, but she's saying that this happened in the hotel. He came on her and, you know, how the story goes. So And after that, he didn't, he didn't give her like a few, like what they almost did to, um, what's that guy that came out recently to talk about um, the Ebony Life lady, Moabudu. No, not Moabudu. Oh, uh, Gideon. Gideon. Gideon okay. 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 So something similar to that, like um, you're not going to get jobs, it's mm -hmm. going to ruin your career mm -hmm. and all of that. And she said she's been affected by that. So, well, um, Abby, 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 I don't think we're going to get enough, like you said, or we're going to see enough of this. Mm -hmm. It's done It's done a lot because out of um, with, there's no smoke without a fire right so mm. if all those women are actually coming against you then that means at least you have 80 percent bad character mm. do you understand so uh we're never going to see enough of this and i just hope some of those ladies can just find it somewhere in their heart to just um forgive him and just <laughs> let, him, let him go because <laughs> i'm tired i don't know how sure, long as in, no, i think i think i think i think what's going to end this is that they have to give this guy the death penalty or something no. because <laughs> I don't understand because all the I've seen I've seen the narrative yeah. of those where people are like the guy's already buried 
um, into... Well, let's not forget that we have a part of the story, his story that we are still following, the course. one about the settlement yeah, that the judge course, um, rejected. But well, I'm even just, I'm, this is not me saying that I agree. I'm just reiterating what they've said. Like, people with the narrative of saying that, but the guy's already in prison for whatever, whatever. Why do you have to add... Pepe to this, whatever. I don't know how you guys say, it. Mm. but it's like, for how many years? but I feel like people are missing the point. Started, I yes, think it's, um, it's easy for like people from the outside to just say, well, he's already in prison for what he's done. But each woman has her story. Each woman has been affected, and it's very different. Yes, mm. they may, they must be there might be commonalities because they share the same abuser, mm. but they don't share the same experience. So each person needs to find closure. A, closure. Yes, they need to find a way to heal in that process and they have to face the accuse the abuser in the way that they deem closure. fit yeah. and if for her if it's i'm taking um legal stance against that i suppose sure. her a hundred percent um and just because you've been nailed first of all you have to even remember that a lot of women came out but it was really nailed for two people mm -hmm. first of all mm. so there's still a lot of women mm -hmm. even that came out that didn't get closure that didn't have enough evidence that he was quote-unquote innocent for so let the woman come out let if she has if she has enough to pin him yeah. let people understand that um he is that sick because like you said bringing up that that thing if you don't have people actually legally trying to put him in that place like joe he'll come out definitely definitely really Hmm. I don't think he's ever going to come out. Huh? In my opinion. Have you uh, you in really my might opinion, when, okay. all when things being equal. This is right? what is being equal. Think, I think that life is going to die life is not in prison. This life is not like, prison. Like, you see, like, joke, like, joke, eh, what happened? It was really good behavior, whatever. There's mm. been millions paid at the back. So he's out. But, the, okay, I think the best deal he can ever get in this life is that he would do house arrest. Why we don't want house arrest? I know, and that's what I'm saying. Like we'll that's like the best thing. That's, that's, right. like that's even that's the that's best, that's best no, he can we, ever get. No. But saying he's going to go scot free with all this global Someone attention. Like Weinstein, uh, if you give him house arrest, he'll he'll buy a beach and enjoy course. his life. He'll stay there. You have made and stuff. We want him in prison. He can make his prison comfortable. That's fine, but yeah, okay. Wanted to be in a regular prison. He would never be in a regular prison. Even people that don't have half of his status don't have regular prisons. More or less now, have you understand? Can we start another regular prison movement? Hey, okay, Jesus. cool. Maybe when you we start, start it, we'll bring <laughs> it back. But um, moving on to the next story, Two Chains and Recross will be battling it out in the next edition of Versus. When I saw this, I didn't bother to read it because I'm like, Two Chains, Recross, insults. What's that? What's that? <laughs> to Two Chain, Abby. Who? Or to Recross. To Recross. Ah. Recross. What? Rick Ross. I lost respect for him after I listened to Entanglement. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're still holding on to? Yeah. I'm not no. with you. I, I lost respect. You didn't remember it. Nothing. <laughs> What's it? Trouble I, I lost respect for him after Entanglement, but I'm still not going. The fact that people mess up from time to time doesn't mm -hmm. take away their good self, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't take away the good things they've done. It, it makes us human, actually. Yeah, it makes us human. So, and, and no, nobody only passed. So I have my own mistakes, but I have people that I'm still accept. I'm too sick, though. Mm. Hmm? Mm? I didn't hear that. No? <laughs> okay, so yeah, I have my own mistakes, but um, I have people that still accept me for it, mm -hmm. I, and I have people that will forever hate me for it, right? Mm -hmm. That's just how life is, mm -hmm. you understand? So, but um, at the same time, I'm never going to take away the good vibe, the good music Rick Rock has given us. I give think us he that. has more music than Two Chains. Um, yeah, I think he has more music. He's been relevant way longer than Two Chains, and I think he's been given. Is and Rick Rock relevant today? Very, even if it's not with his music, he is very relevant with it's his music. Moment. With his music, he is still quite relevant. But with the people he's given us, he's given us Wale. It's given us make me. That, that's not what this conversation it's, is about, though. <clears throat> I know. I'm talking about is what is done now. Why right. I cannot shut this down when the right. type of music is features. Okay. Has so been a, are you looking even with to the P Square Brothers? Mm. Oh, yeah, eh, 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 eh. Mm -hmm. We still listen to. We have our own version of Rick Ross in Nigeria. So come on, man. Okay. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I okay. think it's, I think it's an it's it's an insult. I'm not looking forward to, to it anyway. To not the old because I have anything thing. against them, but I'm not just a fan like that. Like that. just one of those I just know, rappers. Uh, I don't. Oh, really how does he do that? If you did it on the last episode. Do you just now. did it now. Yeah, I didn't do it when I did. When and, you did it. And so you want to embarrass <laughs> me? Said, I don't have to go. No, boys. he said they called you. They called you. Just came and did. Ah, oh, I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of their music. I'm not a fan of their person. Mm -hmm. So it's no, it's of no interest to me. I'm very disappointed at Two, Ch Two Chains as a character, as a dad, as a man, as what he stands for. His music, his lyrics, his videos, his 
personality, like everything. everything. Mm -hmm. Is everything about him is offensive to me. Um, Rick Cross, on the other hand, I've never enjoyed his music. I don't. And Tango Bay is probably the only thing I can remember to say, oh, this guy did something that irks me, really. But other than that, I don't really vibe. Mm. He, I don't know anything about his personality. He's, maybe he's doing a good job at just being Miami. Oh, But wow. his music uh -huh. isn't it's like... His music isn't like... Ooh, to me. So mm. this one for me, so I was just like, fan. no, I'm not. Push it to the them. limit. Nah, I'm good. If I have to do really? that sound so that she will remember Rick Ross. No, oh. she knows. <laughs> ah, you just did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a story we should have talked about for a longest time, but we never got to, uh, which is on Sheishi, mm. who came out to talk about, uh, what was she even saying? That uh, yeah, said, cheating, yeah. yeah. So if um, they cheat on her and she knows that it's not one person, mm. that there are series of ladies, mm. then she's fine with it. But if it becomes one person, then there's a problem. Yeah. And in that same interview, she revealed that she was engaged mm. and the engagement broke and all that. Although that never got to the news. That's yeah. interesting because she said she was wearing the ring and all. So what do you think? I, I was very irked by that. Mm -hmm. um, Shay Shay, I, 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 for some reason, I really like her. Mm -hmm. I think maybe it's because we also have that British... Um, history together and everything and she lived in Portsmouth and she had a girl band and I kind of knew the girl band when before she even came to Nigeria so I've always had like a side eye like I hope you're doing well now that you're back here and her music has honestly been good she's done that star that song so it's some nice mm -hmm. nice music but every time this babe opens her mouth yeah. it's like absolute rubbish that comes out most of the time um, to confidently sit there and with all your influence even if you're that stupid don't say it outside for me, oh. like, there's some things I know that I'm not very strong at. Like, maybe my esteem doesn't really carry it, even mm -hmm. though I'm supposed to think that way. But I wouldn't preach my insecurities outside. I, I just wouldn't. And I didn't like that she was doing that. Even Simi was looking at her like this, because this was, this was on Simi's show. Yeah, the stupid Simi was looking at her like, right? fam, uh, how far? And then she said, yeah, yeah, allowed to cheat as long as I'm the only one. Um, girl. You're mm. not the only one. It, mm. it, it didn't make any but sense. But don't you think where she's coming from is, um, I've heard people to say this before, where they say if there is one person that um, the man is dedicating his time to as well, then it's a possibility that he's actually growing in love with that person and something special is going to happen and you're going to be gone in no time. But then if, it's, if there are different girls and you're still the one person who he's Jesus. coming back to, I've heard that over and over again. It's, then, a, it's a toxic you know, way of thinking, yeah. I think. I don't think you should ever start to um, rationalize cheating. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's either, you, it's either you're okay with the person cheating <clears> or you're not okay with the person cheating. Me, <clears> then breaking down the levels of cheating and trying to... You're, you're lying to yourself. Like, the point of the matter is that you're with somebody who doesn't have self-control, who doesn't rate the relationship well enough to give everything to you. And if you're okay with that, that's fine. Okay, what but then to not say that... Though? Are we delusional? Or is she... No, she, no, she, no, she, no, she, no, 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 no. I think, um, I think it's actually wrong for anybody to try to justify cheating for mm. any reason whatsoever because um it's better not to be in a relationship with somebody and they'll be like okay yeah i'm also one of the sides mm. you get me then say this is about because it comes back home to me it's probably going to come back home to you by 3 a.m mm. and then you spend like four hours with him when he's been with somebody that spent okay. 24 yeah. um, 20 two hours with him mm. do you understand or 20 hours with him mm. and he shares the remaining four hours with you what makes you more special than that mm. person because it comes home to you mm. what about the person he spent 20 hours with and he's spending 24 hours um just four hours with you, you. Mm. so um a lot of women need to emancipate themselves from mental slavery or get them hey. they don't know nothing well, trick you track and put the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Of None of them because, can free um, their mind. I thought you were going to go on, sorry, with the lyrics, but okay. <laughs> At the end of the day, this goes both, both ways. Mm -hmm. I was having a conversation with my cousin yesterday as well, and he was talking about um, how women, some men also forgive cheating and mm -hmm. all of that. That The moment a woman does it once, twice, right? That, that's a sign that you should leave. You mm -hmm. understand? It's okay to forgive once, but when it happens the second time, that's somebody that actually has that mindset. Mm -hmm. So basically, cheating is not acceptable for any gender, male, female, mm -hmm. whatever he it is. He has done the preaching, and that's how we end today's episode, or this particular episode of Tea Time, because mm -hmm. of course, Course, we'll be back for the next episode. Thank you for watching and do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our interesting exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on Arrow TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you will go to my interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shrinke, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name remains Elsie Godwin. And oh, Baka the Salah. <laughs>